Rachel here with CrossFit Lacey. On September 22nd, we're hosting our fourth annual CrossFit competition to benefit our charity, Oli Love. All the proceeds will go to Seattle Children's Hospital to fund childhood cancer research. The competition consists of teams of four, two men and two women. There are two divisions, Scaled and RX. The movement standards will be provided for you. Registration is live, so get your team together and get signed up. If you're not able to compete, there's a lot of stuff going on that day that will offer great opportunities for you to support our charity and have a lot of fun. So come out to the beer garden or get a haircut or have a photo taken, and we'd love to see you guys out there. Deadlift. Starting with the barbell on the floor, the athlete lifts the barbell until the hips and knees reach full extension with the shoulders clearly behind the bar. The athlete then returns the barbell back to the floor. Both sides of the load must touch the floor between each repetition. Bouncing the weight from the ground will result in a no rep. Bar facing burpees over the bar. Each repetition begins with the athlete jumping back and lowering their body until chest and thighs are in contact with the floor. The athlete will then jump back to their feet and jump over the barbell. A two foot takeoff and two foot landing is required. Skilled athletes are permitted to step back and step up when performing the burpee portion of this movement. Ring muscle ups. The athlete must begin with or pass through a hang below the rings with the arms fully extended and the feet off the ground. During the kip, the heels may not rise above the height of the rings. The rep is complete when the athlete's elbows are fully locked out in the support position above the rings. Toes to rings. Athletes must begin by hanging from the rings with their arms fully extended. A rep is complete when the athlete successfully has their toes passed through the rings. The arms and hips must be fully extended at the bottom between each rep. Kipping is permitted. Hang cluster. This movement combines a hang squat clean with a thruster. Athlete must lift the barbell from the floor into the starting position with the hips and knees fully extended. The athlete will then perform a hang clean from the power position, mid thigh or the knee. In the catch position at the bottom, the hip crease must clearly pass below the top of the knees. The athlete will then begin the thruster portion of the movement. In one smooth motion, the barbell must come to a full lockout overhead with the hips, knees, and arms fully extended and the bar directly over the middle of the athlete's body. Sandbag run. One athlete must be carrying the load during the entirety of the run. You may carry the sandbag however you choose and may pass the load from one athlete to the other as often as you like. Snatch. The barbell begins on the ground and must be lifted overhead in one motion. The rep is complete when the barbell comes to full lockout overhead with the hips, knees, and arms fully extended. Power snatches are permitted. Wall balls. The medicine ball must be taken from the bottom of a squat hip crease below the knee, and thrown to hit the specified target. The center of the ball must hit the target at or above the specified target height. If the ball hits low or does not hit the wall, it is a no rep. If the wall ball drops to the ground from the top, it cannot be caught off the bounce to begin the next rep. Dumbbell bear crawls. The athlete must have both hands on the dumbbells when performing the bear crawl. Hips must be raised above the height of the head so as to be supporting some body weight with the arms. If at any time the athlete stands up, drops to the floor, or drops the hips below the height of the head, he or she must stop forward movement until regaining proper positioning. 
Chest to bar pull-ups. Strict kipping or butterfly chest to bar pull-ups are allowed as long as all the requirements are met. The arms must be fully extended at the bottom with the feet off the ground. At the top, chest must come clearly into contact with the bar below the collarbone. Pull-ups. Strict kipping or butterfly pull-ups are allowed as long as all requirements are met. The arms must be fully extended at the bottom with the feet off the ground. At the top, the chin must clearly pass above the height of the bar. Handstand walks. The athlete must start with the feet behind the starting line. Both hands, including palms and fingers, must cross the end line to complete the handstand walk distance. 